Here comes little bunny. Hello, little bunny. You're too cute. You are too cute. Oh, my. You are too cute. Yes, you are. You're too cute. What am I supposed to do with you, huh? There goes Joy. And that's her daughter. And that's, uh, oh, no. Sure, Sugar's daughter is the one with the torn ear. This is, that's Joy's daughter right there. Okay, that's Sugar's daughter back on top. And this is little Bunny trying to chew on my pant leg. And that's her brother. <laughs> yes, hello, sweetheart. Hello. Yeah, I know. I know, sweetie. Bunny, you can't. I can't stay out here and give you all kinds of attention. No, I can't. <sighs> and there's Nilly. Right there, there's Nilly. And that's Ruthie, I think. Uh, kind of hard to tell. If, yes, that's Ruthie. Honey, why are you scratching your butt? And there's a little miss walking by the gate. And I believe that's, well, you may not be able to see her on camera, but there's Daisy behind, honey. Daisy! <sighs> Hi, honey. We had a little bit of rain this morning. Hi, honey. Well, I was going to swing this thing around to so I could talk to you face to face, but it won't let me flip it around when I'm in this mode. So, anyway, I've got some hard decisions I have to make. Um, I'm sure everybody is fully aware that... Oh, here they come. <laughs> oh my, you gotta love them. You gotta love them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, as y'all know, the price of diesel has gone up significantly. Uh, everything's gone up. Uh, material, building materials has gone up. Uh, hay is gonna be going up. I contacted my hay supplier yesterday and uh, I know, Bonnie, I know. And he, they don't have a price figured out yet. They're waiting to see how things go. They're not ready to cut just yet. Um, but he did say it was definitely going to be higher this year than it was last year. Oh, we're starting to rain. Let me see if we can go in here. Come on, Bunny. Oh. Oh, 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 watch out, watch out. Hard to do this with one hand, especially when you got a horse pushing on it. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're getting drops on the phone. Okay. Now I'm under shelter. There's Moo Moo. We have a duck on the nest, and there's Daisy. Coco had her twins yesterday afternoon um, on Friday the 13th. Right, honey? Honey's right here next to me. Say hello, honey. Yep. Uh, and uh, these three here, Little Miss, Ruthie, and Daisy are the next ones. Uh, Little Miss is looking pretty pretty full. I'm not sure what's going on with Ruthie. I kind of expected her to kid last month. But she's just not... Not developing. As if, you know, she was imminent. So, I fully expect she's only going to have one. Uh, Little Miss has... Uh, her. She's had two kiddings. And both times they were singles. Ruthie is uh, 
her daughter from her first kidding and her son got sold as a pet um and uh, of course we're patiently waiting on daisy figure she might have another week that wasn't a push right no okay just shifting but she is the one i am most concerned about because of her um problem kidding last time so if you think about it pray for daisy that everything goes well this time around would love to have a dough out of her anyway yeah hard decisions with the price of hay going up uh i am faced with a very difficult decision uh, honey seriously you have to be right in the picture you have to be the center of attention oh my word girl oh i know you're so rejected oh you're my good girl so anyway uh yeah I was going to be keep, keeping Nilly, and of course I've got Joy, and I've got Ruthie, and Sugar, I think she's out eating somewhere, um, that were sired on this, uh, on this farm, and kitted on this farm, um, and I was going to keep Bunny. Oh my. But logistically, am I boring you, honey? Logistically, economically, the way things are going, until I get things, okay. Little boy, you're too young for that. I am seriously thinking that what I am going to do. Honey, seriously. Seriously. She's got to be right in front of me. Sorry, Ruthie. Didn't mean to disturb you. Honey. I am got you on your dirty side. I am going to be selling everybody except for my original breeders, which is Mama, Coco, Moo Moo and Little Miss. And of course Daisy, she's my dairy goat. Okay. Uh I was gonna be replacing Billy, but if I'm just gonna keep my original breeders and sell everybody else, I'm gonna keep him. Uh so all of my extra does, including Bunny. I am going to have to sell because I've, I, I won't be able to afford to feed them. Not after what, I mean, I know what it was like this last year. I ran out of hay. Thankfully, my neighbor will bring me a round bale, but that's not easy to, to feed to the goats. So, it, it's, it's a very difficult decision, but I have to. I have to. Um, because Daisy is a dairy goat, and if she gives me a doe, a young doe, um, I will be keeping her doly. Um, if she gives me twin dolings, then I will be probably selling one of them. Uh, but that's yet to be determined. We'll see how she does. Praying that she does well. Praying she has a successful kidding this time. Um, but I don't know what else. I mean, even Ruthie is going to have to be sold. Sugar was going to have to be sold anyway because she had the prolapse. So I wasn't going to be able to keep her anyway. I was going to sell her as a pet. Um, so... I think... Bonnie would make a good pet, too. Wouldn't you, Bonnie? Yes, you would. You'd make a lovely pet. But she may be sold as a breeder. Oh, she's too cute. Uh, 
so anyway this is this is what i'm looking at it's a hard decision uh but in order to be able to feed them you know what else can i do what else can i do now i'm hoping um i gotta get this barn cleaned out this is this is ridiculous um the amount of manure in here i gotta get this cleaned out this is going to be a stall for goats okay um and uh then they'll have access if i have a round bale dropped off in the pasture they'll have access to that um so that will help me out a little bit when it comes to feeding them i'm sorry bird am i disturbing you i know you want to get back up to your nest and i'm disturbing you mercy you better leave that bird alone no mercy that's one bird you do not hunt. I know, honey. She's a good girl. Aren't you, sweetheart? Yes. So I'm just putting this out there. This this is, the economy is affecting me, as I'm sure it is affecting everybody. And as a farmer, homesteader, these decisions have to be made. Um, I don't know what I would be doing if I had gotten uh, Chucky this year instead of last year. Um, it would have been a struggle. Um, and it was, it was hard enough as it was. So, I'm sure I am not the only one who has to make these hard decisions. Thankfully, Honey is an easy keeper. People would say, well, sell the horse. I've had honey for so long, and she's she's especially bonded to me. Um, aren't you, sweetheart? Yeah, you're such a good girl. And she is an easy keeper. Um, she's she's maintains a good weight with very little feed. Yep, don't you, sweetie? You're a good girl. If she wasn't an easy keeper, I might be seriously considering selling her. But she is an easy keeper. So, oh, honey, seriously, girl, seriously, what are you doing? Oh, you being, no, no, you're not going out. No, I can't let her out anymore because uh, she took off on me one day. So anyway, this is just a quick video. Well, not so quick. It's over 12 minutes, almost 13 minutes long, but it's long enough. Oh. Bonnie, what am I going to do with you, girl? That one's going to break my heart. Anyway. Well, that's all part of, uh, that's all part of homesteading. What do they say? Don't get attached to your farm animals. Don't get attached. But what are you going to do? Oh, sweetheart. Hello, Nilly. Hello, Nilly. As you see, Nilly's got her pink collar on because I was going to keep her. I put a collar on the on the ones I'm keeping. Oh, she's going to have to lose her collar because I'm going to have to sell her. So, anyway, okay, that's it, people. There's your cuteness. Okay, talk to y'all later.